Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. If you don't know me, my name is Camille, and if you do know me, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna be sitting here doing some makeup with you all today. It's been a while since I filmed a makeup video, so I wanted to do that today. It's gonna be just a very flawless, everyday makeup routine. And I'm also gonna be trying a couple new TikTok makeup hacks that I've seen. I'm really excited to try that today. I hope it turns out good. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's just get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I've already prepped my skin and I did my brows off camera. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just start with my face makeup. Because I'm not gonna really do too much with my eyes, I can start with my base first. So that's what we're gonna do today. The first makeup hack that we're actually gonna try is something that I've seen from Jackie Ina. Like, I feel like it's been years ago now. I know that Jackie Ina has talked about this makeup hack endlessly for a very, very long time now. And it also kind of like went trending on TikTok a little while ago. And that is, taking your setting powder and putting it on before you do your base makeup. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. This is a makeup pack that I have tried before and I really, really like it. It just gives your face such an airbrushed look. Like it just looks so, uh, it looks so good. It makes your skin look so smooth before you even put on your foundation. And then once you do put on your foundation, it makes it last a lot longer. So yeah, I really enjoy this hack. Sometimes I forget to do it, I'm not gonna lie. I try to be consistent with doing it, but sometimes I literally just forget and I can tell the difference when I forget. And I'm like, dang, like this is, this is tough. I'm using a dry sponge and I'm just pressing the powder into my skin. I look a little Casper-like, a little ghostly, but it looks really, really good once you put on the foundation. Powder is all on, so now I'm just gonna go with my foundation. Like always, I'm gonna be going in with my Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I'm in the color, I think 435? Yeah, I'm in the color 435 This W. Also, I don't actually prefer to blend out my foundation with a beauty blender. I prefer to use a brush because I just think you get better coverage that way. Any dense brush like this will do. You just wanted to really be able to kind of pack on the product because if you use a brush that is not as dense, you're just not gonna get the same coverage. So that's why I like to use a somewhat dense brush. Now we can get into the real TikTok makeup hack because before, like the powder hack, I've like done that before. And this I've never, 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 never tried before, so I'm really excited. <laughs> I think it's gonna be, oh, I hope it's gonna be good. Like I've seen good things about it. So. Um, I don't know what the guy's name is. There's a lot of makeup hacks on YouTube, I mean on TikTok. Chair's like sinking, look. Wow. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wet my sponge and then we can get into that hack. Okay, I'm back. I just wet my sponge. Basically this hack for concealer is where you take the concealer and you put it here underneath your eye and then you put it at the edge instead of doing the regular triangle that you see so many people do. And apparently it's supposed to help lift your eye up more because when you do the triangle, because you have it pointed down here, it's gonna make your face drag down and you want your face to be lifted up. So that's what I'm gonna be trying today. I think it's gonna turn out well. Honestly, never put on a lot of concealer. And in this hack, you don't use a lot of concealer. So I think I'll actually really like it. I'm pretty sure this is how it looked. Oh, I forgot to say, I never mentioned this, but I'm looking down because my mirror is down here, so you're gonna see me looking down a lot. Sorry, at this point of this video, you probably have already figured that out, but um, yeah. I let it dry a little bit. It doesn't need to dry. Like he said in the video, let it dry for five minutes. I think Jackie Ina says that too, like five or 10 minutes or whatever. But this dries down pretty fast, so I'm not gonna let it dry down for that long. So I'm just gonna blend it out now and we can see how it looks. I see, I see it. Oh my gosh. I like this. I can see the difference. Wow, that's, wow. Huh. Look, 
You can see, right? I hope you guys can see it well. This is crazy. Look at the difference between here and here before I move it out. Wow, I like this. And it doesn't make it look any less like full coverage or anything, even though you're not using as much product. I think I'm gonna start doing my concealer like this. I really like it because I'm not even a big, like I've never been a fan of doing the huge triangle and using a bunch of concealer because to me, it was just too much concealer. But with this, it's a perfect amount of concealer. You still get the same amount of coverage and it lifts up your face beautifully. Like this is really nice. I really like this. Ooh, wow, this is nice, man. Wow. Mm. So now I'm gonna go in with some contour. I guess you can say it's contour, but I feel like it's kind of more like a bronze just because the color that I use is very warm. I'm using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. I get it in the color dark, um, and it's the Espresso Honey Duo. This is Espresso, this is Honey. I use the Honey. It's supposed to be like a highlight and contour, but I like to use this, which is supposed to be the highlight for deep skin tones, and I use it as like a bronzer because it's very warm. And I really like the color. I never really use this one. It's just, it's, it's very cool, which I'm not a fan of. But I have used it before and actually it works, so. I should have looked up contour hacks. Actually, so I saw this video on Arnel Armand's channel. He was saying that, I think actually he was saying if you wanted to bronze, that you're supposed to put it where you would put highlight instead of like where people put contour, like what people usually do. I'm obviously not following that, so too late but this is what i always do and i just like the way it looks i'm gonna go in with a brush it's like kind of dense but still fluffy and i'm gonna just blend everything out wow this looks flawless next i'm gonna go in with some blush and i'm going to use this Glossier blush. It's in the color Dawn. It's a liquid blush. I just take a little bit on my hand and I tap a little bit off. And okay, I also saw this in a makeup hack as well. And apparently when you do your blush, a lot of times you like smile, you put it here. Um, but apparently what you should do is you should put it more so like here and blend it out around here and um like maybe around the forehead a little bit and i also put some on my nose i don't remember where i first saw this because i saw this in that makeup hacks video from arnel Mon as well but i also have seen it before that and i started doing it because i really noticed the difference in my makeup and it makes your face just look a lot slimmer <sighs> i don't remember where i saw it though first but it's a great hack i love doing this hack as you can see i'm just tapping it here and then I'm gonna take my blush, I mean my brush, and blend it out right at the top. And they said don't bring it in too far forward. And if you just leave it like kind of just do halfway, like don't take it past your eyes, it really makes your face look like just chiseled. It's crazy. And I have the habit of taking my blush. Like I will go on like my cheek, but I'll take it really far. I really have noticed a difference when I do it. Like I'll do it that way if I really want like a, if I want my face to be hella beat, I do it that way. If I just want to look very natural, I'll kind of put it a little further. So it just kind of depends on my vibe. Okay, I'm done. I think I might put a little too much on my nose. But we move. My base looks ridiculous. Like this looks ridiculously good. Wow. I haven't also, I haven't done my makeup in a long time, like done a full beat face like this. So seeing me like do this with my makeup, I'm like, yo, who is that girl? I'm that girl. Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. Okay, so now, oh, I never set. Let me set, let me set, let me set, let me set. Okay, I need to set my face. I almost forgot. I'm gonna set my face with, it's like a very light, fluffy brush. Can you see? Yeah, so I'm just gonna set my face with that under my eyes. But honestly, it is not creased. Like, this brush is not great. This brush is so hard. Yeah. 
Mm, don't like this. I'm going with this super small brush and just brush under my eyes. Feels much better. I thought it was so hard. It was like hurting me or something. I was like, no, sir. Okay. Now that's all done, I should also lightly set my whole face. So that's what I'm going to do with some translucent powder. Same translucent powder I've been using. And I'm going in with a different brush. It's just like a kind of somewhat dense brush. Um, I'm just pressing the powder in all over my face. I'm just going to go with my eyes. I'm going to go in with my Jackie Anna palette. This has been my go-to palette since I've gotten it. To be honest, I love this palette. I'm going to go in with the color Ginger. It's like a very warm brown color. Looks like that. I'm just going to put it all over my eye, all over my grease. It's like just kind of a natural just flush over the eye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the color Credit. This is it right here. And I'm going to line my lash line with it just a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I just lined my lashes with and I even winged it out a bit. Yeah, so it just gives a very smoky look. And I'm just now moving it out a bit with that same brush I used. Okay. So yeah, now we're pretty much almost done. Just one more thing I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very small eye brush. It's not really focusing on it. Whatever. It's quite fluffy. So I'm going to go in with Ginger again. And to pop off the excess. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in from the inner crease right here by my brow. And I'm going to start here and bring it down the side of my nose. So in doing that, I get that, you know, that nose contour. It just blends right into your eyeshadow that you already have. Now I'm gonna go in with the same brush I used with my concealer and I'm gonna take a little bit of powder, some some powder, and kind of just blend out the size of the nose just so that it's just very light. Like it's a very, very subtle little nose contour. This is actually a good tip. This is my hack. This is Camilla B's hack for if you accidentally mess up on your makeup. If you go in with something and you have a little bit, a little too much product that you didn't really use like for your eye makeup or whatever, I always go in with a brush and I put you on some powder on it and I just blend it out and it really helps to blend it out a lot easier than if you just try to blend it out yourself so that's my little hack you're welcome now we're pretty much done with the whole face get into it man this looks flawless i'm actually i really am going to start using this like these hacks more often the blush because i don't always use it um the powder before foundation because i also don't always use it and this concealer like this is golden so yeah i really really like this now i just need to set my face put on some lip products and then we can wrap up this video for my lips i'm gonna go in with this nyx lip pencil it's in the color nutmeg i'm pretty much done i realized that i forgot to put on mascara okay so now i put on mascara so i'm finally done if you got to the end of this video Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. This was actually really fun. I should definitely do more makeup videos because I actually really enjoyed this. If you want to see more makeup videos from me, then make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.